Bada bing, bada boom. Weekly recap. We made it. It's We're Friday. Here. We did it again. Did it again. This I was. This was pro- possibly one of the funnest weeks in office that I've ever had. Ever. Yeah. Dude, ever? That's a bold statement. Yeah. All right. Well, you got to back that up with some statements. What, what, what's well, I don't on? know that I have like substance, but I do know that it's <laughs> you just felt, fun. felt right. Felt Your right to say. We're on okay. point. Uh, busy week. We had some breakthroughs with our internal sales team. Tell me about it. it have, I have some, noticed a culture shift. There seems like they're having more fun. I know they're making more sales. And more money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, one thing was really cool is if you haven't seen the circle closing challenge, you did. If you guys haven't, you need to watch that. It was well, it's just on a, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Yeah, so. it's a f- it's hard to miss. It's a fun sales competitive sales training challenge game kind of a thing, you know. Uh, and it's enjoyable, you know. It's tough. It, I actually get in the ring with them, you know. Uh, you, you got I lost. Yeah. I did. I got. De- I had won three times in a row, and I was like, "All right, you know." I, I thought it. I'd actually do even better on video because I was like, "These guys will probably get nervous." And then I, Rodney threw a curveball, and I'm like, "Dang, he won." He did. But yeah, no. I mean, it seems like this week, at least the sales crew and the sales pit, kind of hit like almost like a turning point. Yeah. You know, like it's like because you, you know you've been well. I think there's. I think a lot of it, and this is for anyone that has an agency, or a team. Or runs a company, you know, or whatever, any of the above, or has a downline, or anything. People need to have fun, and I think by going some of these to these other offices that we had been going to, it kind of made me realize like we're fun, you know, but we can be more fun yeah. while while still maintaining a professional yeah, yeah. business environment where you show up and freaking go to work, right? So. We give away, you know, we do some trivia or some random math equations and give away cash in the morning meeting, which is, I think has helped, you know, to kind of liven it up a little bit, get them thinking a little. Uh, and then when we go to the sales room, you know, it's sales training, it's energy. Like this morning we did push-ups, okay? And we had to like, and I make the person that's in charge take the lead and count us out and everyone else follow the leader, you know, kind of a discipline thing too. You don't, you don't really realize it, but it's true. And then we do some role playing. And so now we've, and they're just enjoying it. You know, I'm not being a jerk and they're working hard and they're getting better. It's just, fun. you know, I had a, um, so I coach little league basketball. So I've got a nine year old son and a, and a seven year old son. And I learned early on coaching that group that, cause don't you remember the bad coaches you've had? Oh gosh. Totally. Okay. So when yeah. I look back that's and that's hilarious, I, I mean, a couple come into my head, dude, I've had, Th- think about the bad, the worst, the bad coaches you've had, and, and what they all have in common. And I yeah. and I feel like, in my opinion, um, the bad coaches and leaders try and squeeze the talent and results out of their team. The good coaches and leaders draw it out. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like instead of hammering it out. Yeah, instead of just like you know squeezing it out because you can squeeze it out. And now. I think maybe there's a certain point and there's some teams, and there's some atmospheres yeah. where there needs to be some squeeze. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, I'm yeah, certainly yeah. like, oh, dude. you know what I mean? It's w- all good. When I need to get their attention, I get their attention. Yeah. But in general, if you're doing more uh, squeezing than yeah. drawing, I think you're in trouble with your culture. I do you too. Know? And, and I think there's no better, you know, test as nine-year-olds because they'll, the, the, you can read all over their face what's going on. You know That's what I'm good saying? Good point. And I feel like that translates. I really do. And I've noticed that lately that you guys have done a lot more conversation and fun and like it's taking more time. You're you're now doing two training like like moments and sessions a day, right? Yeah, yeah, morning and and afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. And and we used to stagger the lunch break. Now they all go to lunch together, you know. Maybe we miss a call every now and then. Who freaking cares? We'll call them back. Yeah, right. No doubt. So eight eight thirty is a big team, eight forty is a sales team, and then one thirty. Well, lunch, 1230 to 1.30 yep. because there's about – because we train from about 8.40 to 9, so they get about three and a half hours in the morning of work time, call time. We get back from lunch at 1.30. We train till 2. They get about another three and a half hours after that, so about seven hours a day of actual work, calling, selling. And they're just improving, man. Like you can see their confidence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one thing we don't talk a lot about that just randomly came to my mind that I was talking to – I've talked to multiple agents this week. Um 
And when someone loses their confidence or their swag, you know, and, and dude, it's happened to us. It's happened to me for sure. Yeah, it, you saw it happen to me, it, it, you know, a while back. When someone loses their confidence or their swag, people can tell. Oh, yeah. It's a big it, deal. It affects everything. Especially in sales, especially. Especially in sales. You I feel have... like half of it, all, uh, of sales, is really just exuding confidence. Because I think people want to work with people that are confident. <laughs> it, 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 confidence is more important than what you freaking say. That's the only thing that I know about horses. I've ridden horses like one time, and the guy that I, as a friend of mine that loves horses, he's like, man, if that horse, does, if you don't know what you're doing, he'll buck you off, man. You got you to gotta, mm. you gotta get on that thing, and you got to ride it like with confidence, and they can feel it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so there's just something well, there. Well, we just brought on a uh, – it's a it's a company that every person in our industry has heard of. Oh, yeah. And a and, lot of our audience. And they have a very yeah. short preferred vendor list. Oh, yeah. And we're now on it. Yep. And it was hilarious because they were asking you questions like, well, how much do you guys do in business? And how many leads do you generate? How much staff do you have? And you're like 24. And they're like, wait, how many? Yeah. Oh, wait. What do you mean? What so are it's, not, it's not just you and Cody, yeah. you know, because yeah. every, everybody else they're talking to that is a marketing company has freaking... Three people. And they all sell a course on Facebook. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but no, it's it's funny because this week was was great. I mean, that marketing company hired us. We yep. had another, I'm not even exactly sure which one you're talking about, but one I'm talking about, we closed today. Yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. I think. I think we're we talking had, about different companies. Well, we had two big ones today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. Okay. So, but anyways, the... Uh, the one where you made like a formal presentation yeah, and yeah, yeah. all the good. key players were on the call and they're like... Easily bring in hundreds of millions in revenue, if not a billion freaking dollars. Yeah, you know? yeah. we're like, going to be the only exclusive digital uh, lead source for their yeah. uh, sales force. Yeah, which is fun. Oh, dude, totally. Um, it's uh, it's, and I'm, oh, I always really focus on like relating to the audience and being incredibly humble and everything else. But from a digital marketing standpoint. We're winning. If you work with anybody else, it is a mistake. In the insurance industry, we're, we're pretty confident about what we do. Ah, oh, um, dude. I will tell you, though, I've done a lot. This has a lot of potential, though there isn't, like, a large transaction tied to this yet. Yeah. You know, and, and but, you know, the, you set up enough irons in the fire, then some will, some will hit, you know? So it's like I've done these deals before where you're the preferred vendor and, you know, something kind of doesn't really come through, you know, because totally. for whatever reason. But, I've, I mean, whatever. These guys seem to think there's going to be a lot there. So we'll see. Um, but that, 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 was, that was a fun day. You're kind of stealing my thunder, though. Oh, are you waiting for that? I was waiting for that. Put it all in the front. <laughs> no. Just release it all early in the weekly recap. We uh, we we uh, we celebrated on the Sam side, uh, biggest month ever by like 150 percent. So that was fun. So we went to lunch together wow. with the team. That's right. So you were there, obviously, and that's I true. I feel like uh, that's true. That's fun because you know it's it, whenever you grow as quickly as what you're growing, sometimes it's easy to kind of have dips, but. It's like every month I'm like, good grief, how could I beat the previous month? And we still keep doing it. And then we like tripled up this month. We're going to beat it again. Uh, if we do, that's crazy, by the way. You, yeah, you say that every month, but I we know. will. Uh, and, and we're everyone in our office is in black. Yeah. I don't know if anybody noticed that on like yep. video cameras and stuff. And you're wearing your Coach Burt shirt yep. because uh, my dad turns 50 tomorrow. So we've got about 25 people on our side of the building. He's got about 25 people on his side of the building and all 50 came together to like sing happy birthday and all were black. You know, they, they mess. If you, if you don't follow my Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Cody.Askins uh, or at Landon321. I got my dad on, uh, I got his office, you know, and all that on my Instagram story. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Balloons, signs, Arthritis Avenue. Like, I saw like uh, all those, kind of one stuff. One of those walkers with, Walker, the, with the thing in the front. Unbelievable. It had like hemorrhoid cream and like uh, vitamins and all kinds of stuff. Crazy. That was fun. But Brian, dude, I mean, he's talk about a leader, man. Yeah. Like he he's got a, he's a heck of a leader, and he's a he'll he's willing to do anything and everything for his team. You know? Totally. And he had the chance to be in the spotlight, and what did he do? He thanked his team. That's you know, it all the time. So that's uh. You gotta have people in your life that you can learn from, no you doubt. know. And and if if people in your life are always like accepting the credit, you know, uh, your dad said something that I don't think I'll ever forget. He, we were in Vegas hanging out, and uh, you know, he, we were just talking business, and, and he's like, he goes, Landon, you know what? You gotta inspect what you expect. Mm. I didn't understand what he meant at the time, dude. At the time, I did set set goals, and you got to make sure that you inspect what you expect. And yeah. I actually say that all the time. Like, am I? It's one thing to talk to your people. And set an expectation, okay? Yeah. 
But yep. if you're not following up on expectation, there's no point in setting the expectation. Exactly. Because the there's no exactly. there's no follow up. We brought on another big speaker for eight percent this week. Um, I can't say who it is, but uh, and then we're emailing. Right now, we're emailing five or six additional major names. I mean, major freaking names. Like they may be in like freaking movies and on the court. Who knows? Major freaking names. If I talk too much, I'll give it away. So I'm gonna stop. But don't do it. Yeah, major. We, we names. got we got the whole year to tease That's right. that. Major names. Um, I uh, major names, Landon. Major. Landon three two one. I'm gonna start calling you by your Instagram handle. I've been getting more active on Instagram, dude. You have so, dude. I'm been um, too. So totally. we celebrated the biggest month ever. That was fun. Um, I and, was on a podcast. Yeah, who, who was that? I was with? interviewed by Nanny Bernal uh, with the Empower Tribe. And she's got a she's got a podcast. She's a part of Bird's Group. She's a speaker on the cruise and all that too. Cool. Um, What'd you talk about? She was uh, she was mostly like business related stuff. You know, like team culture, uh, running a sales team, throwing a conference. Because I told her this, and I haven't said this, D- Dylan. You sh- you could take this out and use it. 2018 was the year of big risk. No clue what I'm doing, but we'll let's go for it. Freaking figure it out, right? 2019, I've learned the most from the other 28 and a half years I've you know ever lived. Okay in 2019 and I'm still learning constantly and we put so much in place that I believe 2020 will be freaking ridiculous. Well, and we heard today, you know, oh. what I, what I was excited about is when we were talking to this major player that is coming to 8%. Um yeah. They were true. like they're like, you know, we feel we feel and this is like a huge organization. We feel that you've established yourself, you know, and you you're credible. We're not you know, the first couple of years we were kind of like Sitting back and watching to kind of see what's cracker. going on here, you know. But now we want in, you know, which is which. I think we're, we're, there's more buzz. Oh my gosh! Yeah. For eight percent this year, ten months prior, I've never yep. seen as much buzz. I've even a, even two months before last year, there's I've more buzz a now. Massive meeting Tuesday about it. It's like there's just a lot going on. It's fun, man. It's, it's, it's fun to see it come together it's and your, your hard work pay off. And they say Thanks, your buddy. three on conference is the big year, and I'm seeing why. Oh. You know what I mean? This year, if you can make it to year three, it's your big one. Is what I hear. Twenty when you after twenty twenty, when you think about twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen, you'll just vomit in your mouth. <laughs> just throw because you thought you were thinking big, but then now we're gonna actually like. I mean, you actually, were, we're big. gonna actually think big for once. Well, no, you were thinking big. It's just yeah. you know we we're trying to figure it out. It takes time. Like that's what that's a lesson, too. Most people are. I'm very impatient. Like everyone. Yeah. Like J.D. Wentworth, I yeah. want it now, yeah. right? Yeah. And I don't know where that came from, but I want it now. It takes time, you know. You can't always have it now. You got to learn, you know. Well, you just do. And that's what separates the the men from the boys is the patience and the due that's diligence. Um, that's it. I had a I was on the fantasy football radio show a little bit earlier. Let's you know. see. I mean, really, uh, uh, I I had a fun meeting, so. Um, my uh, my sister's younger sister just got her uh, finished her cosmetology deal, and so she, I'm helping her with like to start her little business and try and figure out some things. She's going to be doing That's some cool. lead campaigns and trying to figure out how to for her wedding gift. We're going to get her a marketing campaign. <laughs> So that's exciting. Yeah, we're gonna basically do like a whole setup that's like worth like a thousand bucks. We're just gonna give it to her. So and I'm cool. I, and she seems hungry. Like yeah. I wouldn't have done it if she wasn't like she didn't. Like she wasn't clueless and like we didn't come to her with this idea and convince her. Right. She was hungry and asking for some help. And so we put it together. And so I'm excited about that. I'm, awesome. I'm excited to see her succeed um, because awesome. she's hungry for it and she deserves it. Did she's we do a weekly hard. recap last week? Yeah, we did. Oh, we hit 10,000 during it yeah. pretty much like right before it. Okay. Yeah. That's good. We have the Ma- Ma- Medicare seminar masterclass coming up. Tell us about that, dude. October 14th, five o'clock central time. It's a live online virtual event in the studio. With my father, Brian Askins. I'll tell you what, you better sign up quick if you want to do it because he's about to raise the price because everybody that's bought it is like, what the heck are you doing it for this low for? This is true. I've had a lot of that. And people are like buying to fly him out and everything else. It's been a, a whirlwind. There's several, several people sign up today. But <laughs> if, you're ever, if you want to learn more about Medicare in general, you'll want to be there. And we were like, Brian, I think you did it too low. And he's like, no, 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 it's fine. 
and he's, he's like, like looks at his, it, now he's like booking up. He's like, oh crap. Yeah. Like yeah. we probably need to raise the price. Exactly. Um, so do it this weekend if you're gonna do it. Seriously. Also, because we're having a meeting Monday about. The They're gonna raise details. the price, people. So yeah. reach out to them. Maybe it will be tripled. Uh will will be. Okay. <laughs> it probably will be. Um, we're gonna be going over the mail piece he uses. We're gonna give it away. The vendor he uses. We're gonna give it away. The uh, what we do to supplement on so on digital. Give it away. Right. The booking portal. The reservation service. How to set up the room. Where to have the event. What days and times to have the event. The actual seminar presentation you use when you're at the event, so you can say what he says verbatim, because it's a, that's what a system does. Uh, the follow up. Is how that to, a webinar? How to close ninety percent of the room. It's a webinar, right? Yeah. So it's two ninety seven for one. Walk me through the price. Well, you get it all. Yeah, two ninety seven. You get everything that you would need. It's a seminar in a seminar system in a box, right? Okay. For two ninety seven. At five ninety seven, you get the seminar in a box and coach one on one coaching, so that you can actually practice the PowerPoint and get someone to help train you to be freaking perfect, right? And then after five and at five ninety seven, I think I, think I throw in like three courses too. Then at nine ninety seven, right now, uh, he'll let you get all everything I've already said. Plus, he's gonna fly out, and yeah, the person has to pay for travel expenses, but he'll fly out and actually do a seminar for you. You'll have to like set it up and do the mailing and pay for it and everything, but he he'll show up, up and speak for you. Because see, when he does, he closes 90% of the room. 90% raise 90% of the room become clients. And he, he also That's knows, one of, one of the things that I hear too is, is there's like rules that yeah. he's figured out how to like have a completely compliant totally. seminar too. Totally. So he's, like, not only is it just, uh, you know, the actual content, it's the, it's the compliance part portion, et cetera. He's getting really good at, uh, well, writing 350 Medicare plans per year just from seminars. And he gets referrals every day because of the events and the power of events and it edifies you and everything else. And he profits $10,000 every time he does one. Where'd the forty-two thousand dollar number come from? Well, that was seven grand minimum times six years of commissions. Got it. Okay, he profits. We added up. He profits over ten grand every time he does a seminar melling. I see. I see. I see. But that so doesn't residuals. include renewals. Yeah, renewals. Because people never leave him. True. That doesn't include referrals, and he gets referrals every day, <laughs> and I actually mean every day. And that doesn't include cross sales, where they get about two to three policies per client. You wouldn't refer your dad. He's like the coolest dude. Yeah, that's He's cool. like so chill, and he actually cares. He spends in ninety minutes with every client, goes through every freaking drug. I mean, he 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 knows what he's doing, and he's gonna be doing the Medicare Seminar Masterclass October fourteenth to also show you what the freak he's doing. Okay. Also, Dylan, you should crop that and throw it up as a separate video. <laughs> Boom. Good. Knocking two birds down with one stone. That's it. Uh, man, honestly, dude, I just had a good week. You it was know? fun. I had, I had, uh, hey, oh, hopefully I got, you guys had a good week. Like, yeah. and when you're watching this, tell us how your week was. I would love for you to like post a video in the comments, type in the comments how your week was. Like, let's make it a freaking weekly recap for everyone. I got a, I got a bomb to drop. Okay. So if those of you that have been following me and heard me from a percent stage, you guys have all heard me talk about this YouTube lead campaign that's coming mm -hmm. out. Guess who got access to the YouTube lead campaign? That's it. That's it, which is huge. That's like so a big freaking deal. We, your boy, yes. is in which is amazing. The beta test of the YouTube lead campaign. Yep. There's like probably five of us that actually are using this for insurance purposes. I think they only let like, you know, several hundred agencies actually in. Yep. Um, so we got access. I will be building out probably the first Medicare and final expense YouTube lead. Internal campaigns. lead form YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Internal lead form lead campaigns that are, that have been done on the platform. Which is sick. Which is freaking ridiculous. And yeah. people don't understand how big of a deal this is because you're not in the marketing world right. much or whatever. But like, it is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's like it's when big. Facebook launched their lead capture campaign. 
because they were always doing ads for a while and then they actually did internal lead forms to make it easier for people. The way that you used to it's drive just... leads through Facebook was drive website traffic and run conversion campaigns and then yep. they had the lead capture campaign that's native to the actual Facebook platform. Well, uh, Google was sick of losing, um, so they, they developed their own and they're gonna beat the crap out of Facebook um, because they have 100 times the impression inventory that Facebook does just because of the volume of the platform. Totally. So what's gonna happen, they've already stated, is we will make sure we will drive our CPLs competitive with, with whatever we need to because we have so much inventory to give away that yeah. we'll just make, we'll make sure this thing works. And that's what the beta test is for. What's amazing too is it's almost like they saw this coming and I'm sure they did because they've moved YouTube videos up on oh, yeah. Google. Yeah, ahead of placement organic wise. Listing. Yeah, it's just a, just think about it. And you've said it before, but it's it's fascinating, which I love because we're going to show up before organic. At, you know, if SEO. you guys aren't doing YouTube right now, you're crazy. OK, yeah. because if you'll notice, type in uh, how to uh, get a insurance policy or something. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the keyword that will work, but you'll start to see YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. Ahead of organic rankings. Why do they do that, Cody? Why does Google put oh, YouTube videos? because it keeps them on their platform. So think about it, guys. Because they own YouTube. They own YouTube. So would they rather share, send their users to random websites that they profit nothing on? Or would they rather you buy the clicks if you want to your website? Or push you to YouTube where they can do what? Show you ads, ads. right? And make more money. So think about it. So now, not only are they going to own the top four st spots, they remove the right side ads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's there's only the top four spots right now of ads. Then there's what Google Maps. Then hmm. there's YouTube videos. So we're like three fourths down the page, and then there's organic listings. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know to like go down and look. Like I kind of know I'm gonna just go to the organic listings, or I'm gonna click on a video. Uh, but a lot of people don't know that. It's crazy, man. And they just click an ad or a video. So it's about to be shook. Yep. So That's we're it. we're in, man. It's a big week. I actually feel like I'm going to shoot a video that's a follow-up to that. Yeah, you need to. And talk right all now. about it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. Switch the background, Dylan. Thanks for watching Weekly Recap. <laughs> Hope your week was awesome. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to watch Joker tonight. Are you? I heard it's dark. I'm sure it will be. And heavy. I'm sure it will be. So I'm actually thinking about I'm going to leave positive. I'm gonna, I, think I'm gonna go, I think I'm going to go see it too. I don't know if I'm going to pick the same time as you. I don't know if I haven't figured out a setter yet. Do it. Um, Dylan will watch your kids. <laughs> Dylan, you in? I only got three. All right. I got to get to a meeting. Appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. All right. See ya.